Good morning and welcome to a wonderful Wednesday. We are here for our weekly read aloud and happy Valentine's Day. So today, Justice and Books has the perfect book for Valentine's Day because I feel like Valentine's Day is about self-love and I feel like it's about loving on the people that love us most, our friends and our family. But that self-love is so important and this book, is hitting that hard. Here we go. The name of our story is called Big, and it is by my sorority sister, Miss Vashti Harrison. And the most exciting thing is that this book recently won the Caldecott Award. It is like the highest honor in literature, and this book won. How exciting. So I'm super excited for this read aloud. I'm super excited for the book that you are about to hear and the message and the story. So let's go ahead and get into it. Big, here we go. Once there was a girl with a big laugh and a big heart and very big dreams. She learned her ABCs and one, two, threes, and she always said please and thank you and even put away all her toys. At dinner, she ate all her food. What a big girl you are, the adults would say, and it was good. She grew and learned and laughed and dreamed and grew and grew and grew, and it was good. She was caring, compassionate, fun, free, graceful. Until it wasn't. You're a big girl, aren't you? So take a look at those and look at how she's feeling in her second grade line. And look at how she's feeling or trying on outfits. One day something big happened. I can't wait for the recital. And then she was stuck. Help, you whale, oh my God. Look, she's stuck, moo. More like moose. Oh. So our teacher had to come and get her out. Don't you think you're too big for that? How do you think that made her feel? Hmm. It made her feel small. The words stung and were hard to shake off. So look at how those words have made her feel. She began to feel not herself, out of place, exposed, judged, yet invisible. Everyone had advice. Hmm, that's no good. Try this instead. But that kind of hurt too. So even when they're giving advice, even that advice is hurting her. She has on this beautiful pink and they wanna cover her up. This is perfect for you. But is it really? Nope. The flower costume won't fit. You're just too big. Where are you going? What did I say? Focus on that illustration there. How is she feeling? Do 
you notice what's happening? What are you noticing that's happening in each one of these pictures? She's feeling. How the world is making her feel. Aren't you too big to be crying? Have you tried being smaller? Why can't you just fit in? And the tears are flowing. One day, she finally let it all out. All the name calling and all the people saying such negative things to her, she finally cried it out. And started to see things more clearly. She cried it out. And now things are becoming more clear to her. She decided to make more space for herself. So instead of space for those negative words, making more space for herself. Yes. These are your words. They hurt me. Giving them back to the people that gave them to her and letting them know that their words hurt. Not everyone understood or even listened. It's just a joke. It's not that serious. You're too sensitive. Some try. I didn't mean to hurt you. So sometimes it's important to let people know how their words have made us feel. But they still couldn't see. I can help you change if you want. No, thank you. I like the way I am. That she was just a girl. She was okay just the way she was. And she was good. She was imaginative, compassionate, smart, funny, sweet and kind, just the way she was. The end. Whew. Learning to love yourself just the way you are, big. I do hope you understood and got something from the message. And I do hope you enjoyed our read aloud for today. Just us and books. Happy Valentine's Day, just us.